question. Did you have any more thoughts on yours? I think mine is also confident. It's so weird because you say like how people view you. Like, it's so stupid. Well, because you're so sweet, and, and I do think I can be like attractive. But there's certain people that I like wish I was found me attractive. So like that's a weird thing too. Um, people in my past that um, I always wish uh, kind of realized how like rare or special I am, or also maybe like how sensitive I am. Maybe that's what I really want people to know too. Is like I'm I'm very. Um, yeah, I'm very sensitive in the sense that, like, I really want to connect to people and, like, I care a lot about certain people. Some people suck. <laughs> um, True. I think that's something I wish people kind of saw more. Because I think people see me, I'm, like, a tall, white guy. Um, I have a little bit of muscle. I'm not, like, super buff or anything, but I think people automatically um, put, like, this hard shell on me, and, it, and it's kind of, like... I don't know, I, I, I work really hard to dishevel that. Sorry, we're gonna go on a little ramble, but like, this also goes with being like gay or queer, is like I found myself almost demasculating myself a lot of the time because I felt like people didn't connect to me in the way that I wanted to. Although I, in the way, but I am masculine. But it's weird that I feel like I had to go that way to like see, make people see that I'm sensitive. Um, yeah. It's weird, but. Okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna. Unrelated, how tall are you? You said you're tall. How tall? Yes, I, I am 6'1". I'm not, like, super tall, but I'm 6'1". No, six you're one. very tall. What the fuck? <laughs> how tall are you? Let's ask these questions. How tall are you? 4'11". No, you're not. Yes. I was like, yes. Are you really? You're so short. <laughs> She's so short. So I'm, like, 6'1". You're fucking huge, dude. I'm like, what? You're 4'11". Side by side pick. Right. Oh my god, that is that's so funny. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. It's so funny. I, I'm not gonna ask you this question, but the one I opened up to is one you already answered. It said, if you had the opportunity to write as a career, what would you write? You should and answer I, it. Oh, well, that could be mine, but what you answered was your book, right? I think you would work yeah. on your book yeah. more. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another one. Um, ooh, that was loud enough. Um, <laughs> this is such a lame question, but I, I don't know why this is a question. Oh God! It says it says snakes. Interesting or creepy? Why? <laughs> what? I don't remember that book that I had having that question. <laughs> I can ask you a deeper one too after. It's so funny. Okay, well, um, okay, hear me out. As an aesthetic, cute, love that. Like my tattoo has a snake wrapped around it. That's so sick. Like, that's an aesthetic, but the actual snake, not even creepy or disgusting, scary as... Scary, yeah. scary, okay. scary. I'm terrified. Like, you never know which one could kill you, and you don't know which one is just vibing, hanging around your garden. Like, you don't know shit, so... Yeah, they just slither around. Um... Same thing with spiders. Like, no thank you. Uh Okay, I got a better question, right? Um, in what way are you selfish? Like very people pleaser vibes. 
it's it's really hard is there is there something that made you realize that you were being like too selfless or uh like did you i guess i want to ask you a question is that why do you think you felt like you had to be so available to all these people um was it because like you wanted to or was it do you feel like it was because of something else or did you just genuinely care about like all these people or honestly maybe this is selfish i think it might be partially selfish actually now that i think about it like definitely because i care about these people but also in like in some way i'm i was hoping that if i cared for them they would care for me in the way that i would want like you know like treat people how you want to be treated like i was expecting me to like go out of the way to make sure sure people feel a certain way and then hoping that they would reciprocate that and then it wouldn't and then I'd be like damn okay like oh my god I relate so much to that honestly because that's what I'm learning right now I have a friend who I would always like take to the airport I'd be like oh do you want to ride to the airport and he'd always be like oh my god that's so kind of you yes and I know like deep down I would do it because I'm like oh then like I can ask him for the airport but I'm realizing it's like uh, it doesn't work like that. Some people want to offer and help you in that way, but some people won't. It doesn't make them a bad person, but, like, it, it, you can't, like, expect people to match what you give. You kind of have to just accept what they're willing to give you, and then if it's worth it, if it's good enough, you'll accept it. If not, like, they'll kind of, like, show their cards to you. you. You can't really, like, change people, which is difficult, you know? Yeah, I kind of see it as, like, a control issue. Like, you're hoping that you can control the outcome by acting a certain way and hoping they mirror it. And it's, like, I think it's just kind of, like, letting go of that and being, like, okay, like, they're going to do whatever they're going to do no matter what I do. Like, you yeah. know, you could be yeah. the most for that person and they'll still do whatever they want. So, it's, like... When do you, th- when do you think you, like, learned that, would you say? Um, when I was too nice to too many people and no one was there for me when I needed them. Like, Fuck. Um, and, that's like, so annoying. Right. Like, it, and it happened with, like, a family member. So, like, that was, like, the turning point for me. I'm like, if my own family can't do what I'm doing for them, like, it's not worth my energy anymore. And the moment I let that go, this huge weight lifted off of my shoulders, man. Like, I was like, yo, I'm free. I can do whatever I want now. Like, if I want to be nice, I'll be nice, but I don't have to expect it, like, from anyone, you know, so, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good lesson. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, though. Yeah. How about you? Um, oh, what, in what way am I selfish? Um, I'm becoming really selfish in my opinions about things. I'm learning right now to like s- s- either say my opinions when like uh so if people are talking like to actually vocalize my opinions or to actually have my opinions if i don't vocalize it but to like hold on to them and know that they're valid i think is what i'm realizing is it's a selfish thing i'm realizing um which is which is good it's a good thing because i i'm like you in the sense like i think i'm a very or was still am a big people pleaser i weirdly like want to make people's days a lot nicer and you know be a kind human being as i think all of us want to but um i did realize that i was not being authentically myself and like there are gonna be people that fuck with you and some people that don't and it's like you kind of gotta at the end of the day be like i don't even fuck with the people that don't fuck with me like i need to go with the people that i fuck with and um those are the one people that i really care about you know um so that's why I'm trying to be selfish, is being like, hey, you don't like this person, and that's cool. Like, they, they, they don't make you feel good, so don't hang out with them. It doesn't make you a bad person for not wanting to hang out or, like, being kind. Like, let people show you who they are, and then if I don't want to be friends with them, that's okay. Um, is how I think I'm being selfish now. So Yeah, I think that's a really good type of selfishness, though. Like, I feel like there's a deer... Like a deer yeah. like, you know. I can be even okay it's something I think I'm selfish about that's I'm not really proud of is I think I've been very selfish in my life in my career and the fact that I'm like my whole family is still on the east coast 
except for my sister who's up north, but I feel very, like, not there for my parents and my uh, brother as much as I think I wish. So I felt very selfish for coming over here. Uh, that's something I think I've been very selfish about that I'm still trying to grapple with because, you know, you're always scared that you're going to lose the people you love and then you don't want to regret the time you weren't with them, right? So Damn. that's hard. You know? that, that's actually really relatable, though. Like, I'm 20 minutes away from my family, and I still never see them. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna feel better. <laughs> no, yeah, you're good. Don't even worry about it. That's. Oh my god, yeah. it got so dark in here. I didn't even realize how dark god. it got. You guys tell the time difference. <laughs> right. <laughs> idea that I need to choose one thing to go after oh that I need to either, yeah, that I can't like have it all, I guess, is holding me back a lot. Um, I feel that so hard. Oh my God. Do you? Yes. Oh my God. I just like, I love so many things and I'm like, I have to choose one or else. And then it's but like, you don't. right, you could do really anything. It brings so much stress. Yeah. Um, I hear you. I think it's also belief that I need to be in like a romantic relationship to feel valued or loved or um, important or valuable to someone or even like valuable to myself is a limiting belief too that I think is holding me back in the fact that I oh god you're going down a spiral because I guess I could talk about how <laughs> like I feel like I need if I feel like I need a really intense romantic relationship I'll, I won't hang out with people that it might be more casual, but those casual relationships might lead me to a more romantic one, right? Like, people, the people will tell you what they think they want, right? But they sometimes that's not exactly what they actually want. So someone might be like, I want something casual, but you guys might click, and then it might be something else. And I think I don't allow myself to meet those people and hang out with those people because I maybe have high standards or... I think I need to meet the love of my life a certain way. So. Damn. That's weird. Damn, we got me good. Damn. What about you? Oh, God. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, the fear of failing. Oh, my God. I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fail. I'm so I'm not even going to try because if I try and fail, that's more embarrassing than not trying at all. <laughs> That's not true. But yeah, I got you. Okay. That's how I feel. I'm like, oh my god. Why? Like, Why is that? I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, just imagine I, like, go for something I really want and then I don't do well. And then it's like, oh shit, like, I put my all into this and now everyone can see that my all isn't good enough. How embarrassing. And rather than just being like, oh, like, I don't even want that anyway. And then everyone on the outside can see, like, oh, she just doesn't want this thing. So it's, like, more about, like, how people see me. I very much care about what people think. It just, I, I, it's so relatable. 
exact same where it's like you feel like you're saving yourself a little bit by not going fully for something because then you're like yeah you could be like oh i didn't want it anyways where if it's really obvious that you wanted it it stinks because not only do you not get it but also everyone around you uh senses your disappointment but i the only thing that like i think and it is a challenging belief because you believe that you should go for those things right yeah yeah i do too i think it's like i always think like I think what's gonna help me too to like do those hard things is knowing that there's someone watching that is even just wishing that they're doing what you're doing whether you succeed or fail they'll see you do the thing and they're like damn i wish i had the courage to be doing the thing with whether the outcome is good or not you know yeah yeah that's honestly but that's why i got rid of social media and some like i don't go on instagram that much because i compare myself oh yeah comparison and i know you're talking about that recently too but like comparison is my worst nightmare i do it for everything everything every part of my life i'm like oh my god i wonder how everyone else is doing this like this like like even with the asmr videos i'm like you're literally making a video every fucking day and i'm like i'm lucky if i get one every week like you know not like like you know what i'm yeah. saying so I'm no like, but i got with me everything so. I know, and I think it's it's normal because like you you want stuff, but then like what no one teaches you is that you have to actively choose who you're comparing yourself to, like because you grow up comparing yourself to your classmates, and then we also grow up in a time where it's like oh, and then you're always connected to these people for the rest of your life via social media, when in fact you probably don't give a fuck about half these people anymore. You probably don't even know them anymore, and it's the whole thing is like I know I, I I keep trying to do it too, where it's like remembering that you're comparing yourself to yourself only to yourself like you should always only compare yourself to yourself but it is hard i totally get that it's like the saying like comparison is the thief of joy um yeah that's so real though that is so real i feel that all the time i think we all do it yeah you know definitely i'm trying to think of like routines that oh because that's because like we said like habits and beliefs and stuff but like what routine I know a routine for me is like I will um, stay home. I would rather stay home than like go out and like if someone invites me, then like hang out or go to a networking thing. Um, and I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to get more onto the side of like going out and, and, and just meeting people. But yeah. what's your what's your routine that you think that is hindering you from? What, what routine do you think is hindering you from like the fear aspect from failing? Like, what, what is stopping you from allowing yourself to fail that you do? Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I'm put on the spot here. Oh, God. It's <laughs> okay. Um, well. Um, critical thinking. I don't know. <laughs> you're good. You're good. That's a hard question. It's also like, how do you even analyze that? But yeah, my critical thinking skills are gone. Um, you lost me. You're good. Are there any routines that you want to change? Being on my phone too much. But I've been. I got rid of TikTok, so. job high five and then we'll do it through the camera high five <laughs> yes yeah um okay. yeah i guess just like being online all the time just takes me away from doing the things i want to do it's like a distraction yeah so i don't know holy shit That's it's dark true. i know oh it got really dark okay we're gonna do one more question <laughs>
I'll think about it too. Okay, I have one. Um, okay, I'm gonna say thank you to my best friend, Emily. Um, I love that. I love her. Anyway, am I talking to her? Like, let's, yeah, let's do okay. it.
also subscribe to this freaking channel. Subscribe to Edge ASMR. Edge yes. ASMR. Um, yeah. You, yeah, I love your channel. It's so awesome. Thank yeah. you for having me here. And oh, everything. Of course. Of course. So, so I'm so happy. This is like my first ever like little, what do you call this? Whatever. Collab. Collab. <laughs> I'll go later too.